So, hello everyone, once again with a new video. I'm here and I'm going to ask a simple question. Why would you want a 3D printer? Well, this one I made myself, it's pretty big. And uh, yeah, this costed me like thousand twelve hundred dollars to build with all. But uh, yeah, you find them in the store for, well, starting at three hundred dollars already, small ones. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's a great hobby. It's a really lovely thing to do, even though it's a bit of a steep learning curve and you have to, well, practice and, well, eventually you will come up with prints and designing stuff. Of course, there's things like Thingiverse. I have an account on Thingiverse and I'll be putting stuff up there or GrabCAD, things like that, where you can just download models. So, but what's... Uh, What's the practical use in, of these things? Well, someone asked me once, you know, why, why would I want a 3D printer? And I jokingly made the remark, well, to print 3D printers or parts for a 3D printer. So, yeah, but that's a bit of a well, snake eating its own tail, right? Something like that. I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, it's interesting. Why would you want a 3D printer? Well, at the price, uh, you can, it's, it's affordable, that's one thing, and it could be a great hobby, that's another. However, there are some practical things you could do with it, and once you get a 3D printer, I promise, you will find all kinds of things that you could do with it, and the ideas will keep rolling, actually. Um, in my channel here, I will... Uh, make more of these videos where I can show you what kind of practical things you can do with them, what kind of prints, like parts that are not available in a store. Like a friend of mine, he had a, how do you call that, a, a clothing dryer in, in, in a mill. You know, they, you know, they fold out, you can put them outside, they fold out. And uh, he broke it, so he had to buy a new one. And I said, well, you don't need to. It's just a piece of plastic that broke off, so I can just fix that. So I made a new design for him, and it's available in my on my Thingiverse as well. Of course, I will post links. And, uh, yeah, that's one of the things. Or if you have a vacuum cleaner with accessories that don't fit, for instance, you could, you could make an interface for that. And, yeah, you don't have to throw stuff away. You know, certain things if a piece of plastic breaks. So that's interesting. And there's all kinds of, well, hobby projects you can engage with these 3D printers that you normally could not. Or you have to make them out of wood or things that you want to do, which is a lot of work. Of course, you need to learn how to design. There is a Blender 3D tutorial on my website, on my channel as well. But yeah, basically, uh, you can make anything you can think of. And I promise you will encounter a lot of things that you say, hey, I could print something for that. So yeah, in this video, I'm going to uh, do something with a curtain holder, a curtain bracket. I'd had, I've had uh, new windowsills installed on my in my window and they're a bit bigger than usual so now the curtain cannot run down to the floor anymore so I'm going to have an extender bracket for that and I designed one I could buy one but it's much more fun to print something and make it for yourself so that's what this is going to be about and uh, there will be many more videos about this on my channel eventually um, another thing, uh, if you buy a 3D printer, I think I could re recommend you to look at reviews like, uh, well, I've got, uh, I'm f one of my favorite channels is uh, Sexy Cyborg, or uh, Naomi Wu, she's called, aka Sexy Cyborg, and she's uh, reviewing a lot of 3D printers that could come in handy, um, but yeah, starting at $300, you can find 3D printers that do well reasonably well and there's going to be 3d printers that are just absolute well you know what so 
I hope uh, you might uh, like this channel, you might want to see more of these practical things on my channel. So if you do and you're interested, just uh, subscribe and hit that bell notification button there so that you can so that you will be notified of any of the 3D prints that I make. So let's get started. Hi, so I decided to put up some curtains here. My windowsill below is a bit too big. My curtains can't get past it. So I just made a design here and I printed these. Yeah, so I'm gonna put these up at the thingy verse as well. Might be useful. So that's basically it. This isn't gonna be a very short video about that. So just for the ones who are curious how I made this, um, well, I just took a picture of the side of the rail like this. And then I figured I could just draw this in Blender using the background image here. Add image. Um, yeah, so this one and then I could just uh, add mesh plane um, delete vertices front view and then I just draw a couple of vertices here like this So I can just remove the image right now. Back, I can remove the background image, and this is the shape I, I got. And uh, from there on, it's it's just simply, well, scaling to size. So I just measured the size of this, and I don't remember exactly what the size was. And then I just scaled this to the size it should be, and then extrude you know this is this the the thing and then normals um, and then face menu solidify and let's say I'm pressing F6 uh, thickness 0.5 millimeters like that uh, no normals F6 inside like that then face to a face menu solidify and uh, let's make it uh, F6 thickness five millimeters well yeah that should do the trick so and uh, yeah the main reason I, I did I made it like this is because you would like to screw these things in here and you need some space and uh, therefore it's like this it would be good to move these like like so to hide this stuff behind the curtain but it, uh, then it's it's hard to reach the screws back here yeah so here's a design and I didn't come I couldn't come up with a name for it but it's called a curtain bracket and there's something wrong with it I think let's see there's something here going on just a moment please uh, X delete edges fix uh, alt F that's better and uh, out here yeah there's something wrong here as well X edges alt F normals let's see non manifolds nope so this is it and uh, I could have done better but it's okay I guess so yeah I'm gonna put this up at thingiverse and the link will be in this description of course so there you go and they're orange and they jump out and you might say well that's ugly 
but you know what it's 3d printed i think i'd like to show off a bit with what i've printed and the things i've done like this one and then people will come in and see like hey is that 3d printed yes it is so there it is and they're obviously well you can clearly see them and I think that's nice, these orange patches above, but some people might want to hide them. And, uh, well, the curtain is a bit too long, it's dragging on the floor, and it's not a new curtain, so I might be changing it anytime soon. But yeah, this is it.